Okay, so this is a Zoe 2016 40 kilowatt hour with a suspension uh, sort of knock noise. Uh, don't worry about the fact that it's not got um, Zoe wheels on, it's got clear wheels on, but that's just um, customer preference. Um, right, so it's making a knocking noise. We can actually move the wheel sort of side to side like that, um, which it shouldn't do, and it's making the knocking noise. And we're just gonna go behind um, and see what's happening. So. Basically, this is um, the lower arm, um, and if I just right pop you there. So you see where the bolt is. So that bolt there. So that's the ball joint, and that's bolted onto the ball joint. And when we move the wheel, can you see that bolt's going in and out? So that shouldn't happen. You might be able to hear it knocking as well. This one's quite bad. So that that should not move um, and that's what our issue is that ball joint has worn out really common on the zoe's this suspension comes from the clio but the zoe um with the battery weight is heavier than the clio so this is really really common yeah you can probably hear that so right so let's have a look at the new one so this is the new lower arm um, and this is the, the, the ball joint, basically. So this job is a bit of a pain in the backside, basically. Um, it can be quite expensive to have done. Um, the reason is that this bolt, which goes in this way, um, is rather difficult to get out because the subframe is in the way. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the wheel off um, and then show you a little bit better in a minute um, what I mean about getting it out. All right, back in a moment. Okay, so we've got the wheel off and arch liner off as well. So we've got to do this, we've got the bolt here, which is um, that one, that's the nut end of it, um, which is for the ball joint. And then we've got this upside down bolt, which is the one at the back. Um, but the annoying one is this one, which is the front bolt for that lower arm so that's on as you look at it that one so what you can see is the head of that bolt and um, it's up against this which is the back part of the front subframe if I just come out a little bit that front subframe goes across and then it goes across and it's underneath the radiator behind the bumper you can see part of it just in there so it goes across one side across there and down here um, and that is impacting taking that bolt out so to change these front lower arms, um, track control arms are sometimes called, um, you have to um, move that subframe out of the way. That is just behind the bumper. So you have to loosen or remove the bumper. Um, obviously these brackets have to come out. That's not too much of a problem. Um, so yeah, that makes it quite a long job. Um, there is actually a time saving if you do both sides, because you only have to move the front subframe out of the way once. Um, but yeah, on this car, this side's really bad, the other side sounds fine. So just for time purposes, um, it's just gonna get this side done. Um, and then following doing the lower arm, track control arm, um, to replace that ball joint, you also have to do the tracking as well, um, which adds obviously cost and time um, to that. So that is that. Um, just a little word about other another thing that can make a noise. Um, so this, bar here is the anti-rail bar drop link um, and that's got two ball joints it's just literally a fixed piece of metal with a ball joint um, and like a nut and bolt at each end um, but these ball joints can also wear out and knock just like those ones um, these these big ones on the track control arm can um, so yeah they can also make a noise they're only about 15 20 quid this is the new one um, they're easy enough to do Buy the cheap ones of those because they're fine um the lower arms i should say do vary in quality a bit and they're kind of a weak component already so don't buy the cheap ones of those um buy some good ones i've got delphi ones um and i just buy the cheap ones of those um but yeah that's not going to get changed today that's just to show you um but yeah it's going to get the lower arm done and um yeah once i get it out um i will show you um, the actual noise on the um, on the joint 
All right, cool. I'm going to get it out. Cheers. Okay, so we've got this lower arm out. So this is the ball joint, um, and this can literally move up and down. I can feel it. You probably can't hear it, but um, that has movement, and it shouldn't do, basically, and that's what causes that knock-in. So it's, um, it bolts down on onto this um, top of this ball joint, um, and that should obviously not be able to move in and out. Um, yeah, so... Um, so this is the joint. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so the ball joint fits up into oh, into there. Clamps round. So the bolt goes into this recess. Uh, yeah, so where there's a recess, the bolt fits in there to hold it on. Um, yeah, and obviously if that if that's got movement, then the whole wheel can move because that is there's you know not a lot not a lot stopping that from moving without that there. So that is holding it. Um, holding the wheel sort of pointing in the right direction um, and um, so this bolt that gets impacted by the subframe is this thing <laughs> ridiculous right so and then that fits yeah Ooh, let me get it in the hole and then I'll show you a better view right so yeah so that fits in there so I've got the subframe moved down I've got it wedged um, and then um, yeah so obviously that has got to come out uh, so yeah about there so that in that slot um the subframe can fit sort of this this joint that's the back joint of the subframe this one's quite easy because it's just an upside down bolt it's a big bolt but it literally fits in that hole bolt goes up so that's fine um but that one is the real pain one um i mean to be fair this sort of um joint behind here this kind of knuckle joint that is a bit of a pain as well um because it's got a little flat top on it so it just collects crud and um and gets pretty rusted in there um this one was kind of hanging on for dear life so I had to go back on with the ball joint separator and um, put something down on it so it pushed it down a bit further but it uh, yeah, eventually sort of pops out but i've done this quite a few times so after a while you get used to it but uh, yeah it's useful all right cool cheers